<laughs> a whole day with your nana and your daddy. How exciting is that? Actually, daddy's crying off this one. Oh? Well, I thought that you'd like to spend some time on your own with him, and I've got stuff I can be getting on with anyway. Right. Well, much as I love having him to myself, surely you don't expect us to stay here. I mean, what if your dad comes back? Well, I thought that you could take him to see Father Christmas at one of the department stores or something, and then I'll meet you back here later. Well, that's a great idea. Just make sure that no one sees you coming or going, okay? Okay. Right. See you later. You know that Pete's back today. His court hearing's tomorrow. So? It's nothing to do with me. <laughs> well, take a seat. I got you being all formal down that London, have I? <sighs> Sorry, it's just, uh. It's just strange being back. Mum not about? No, he said something about doing the Christmas shopping. So, how's everything here? Quieter than I expected. Your mum's been showing some unexpected restraint. Oh? Debbie's banned us from seeing Moses. What, well, and mum's just taken it? Yeah, which is a relief. Things are only just getting back to normal after, um, recent events. The last thing his family needs is more trouble. Anyway, I'm sure Debbie will come round. Yeah, well, I, uh, I better get my stuff over to the caravan. No, don't be daft. You can keep in Russell's over. No need. I might not be here long anyway. Listen, mate, you'll have a couple of weeks after the hearing before they decide on the sentence. Yeah. But when they do, well, I'm looking at a custodial. I'm bound to be. So, we cross that bridge when we come to it. In the meantime, you're stopping here, right? I mean, I know you're a beautiful boy. But being a bit sick on Santa might have put you on the top of his naughty list, little fella. Yeah, sorry, mate. Don't worry. We only just got back ourselves. Do you want to see the picture of him and Santa? No, I can't. Debbie will be back any minute. Oh, OK. Well, same time tomorrow. Yeah, of course. Come on, mate. See ya. All right, Mum. Hiya. Yeah. I didn't know you were back already. Yeah, so I see. So, uh, taking Moses out, is this going to be a regular thing, is it? Only Dad said that you weren't supposed to be seeing him. Well, he's told you. That Debbie's laying down the law, yeah? The thing is... But he also said how good you were being about everything. I thought it didn't sound like you. I thought he was so grateful that you weren't going to rock the boat and cause more aggro. It's only temporary. Look, that's his grandson you're sneaking about with. Mine too. And no one's sneaking around. Fine, well, I'll call him, shall I? Oh, and I'll say thank you to Debbie and all, because she's obviously being as reasonable as you are. Debbie can't be reasonable. That's the whole point. So when Ross offered me the chance to spend some time with Moses, I took it. Is that so bad? So it's all right going behind Dad's back, is it? I haven't got a choice. Debbie's not budging. So I'm begging you, please, just... just keep quiet about this. 